Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Precision 6470 Next Gen R turbocharger. The first thing you'll notice when you look at these two turbochargers is one of them has an H cover with a three inch outlet and the other one has an S cover with a two and a half inch outlet. The H cover is a larger cover, more volume, more flow. Now, once we get the compressor covers off, you can see that this next gen compressor wheel is quite a bit taller than the 6466 Gen 2. 6466 is no slouch. I've made over a thousand wheel horsepower on a Dynojet with a 2JZ with a 6466. Moving into this 6470, you have a larger exducer compressor wheel. So while the inducer of the turbocharger on both of these wheels are the same, the exducer on the next gen is quite a bit larger. And then you go down to the turbine wheel. You have a 70 millimeter turbine wheel versus a 66 millimeter turbine wheel, but it gets a little bit further than that. Precision offers a 152 and a 175 AR turbine housing for the 6470, where your common turbine housings would be like a 0.82, maybe a 112. We're talking a 152 and a 175. Lots of exhaust gas flow, keeping back pressure down, keeping shaft speed up, making that next gen compressor wheel work hard and produce a lot of power. So we should have at least a hundred horsepower gain between these two units. Now this turbocharger was specifically designed for World Cup final mean street. So if you're looking to win that 64 millimeter inducer class, this is the baddest unit on the planet. This is what you need to run up front and to win the class. If you're racing at FL2K or any other sanctioning body that has a 64 millimeter inducer rule, Take a hard look at this turbocharger because it is well suited to win that class. If you're looking to upgrade from your 6466, but you don't want to move all the way up to a 6870, again, 6470 Next Gen R in stock, ready to ship.